Hi guys, welcome back to the podcast. My name is Richard Beatty. This is the Creators Podcast vlog editions. Back out at Kirkbride Airfield, JDM Dino, and I've got a new project now in the background there. We've got the truck. I've seen that's coming to bits now. I might do a little bit with that today, but that's not really my plans today. I've had a project sitting for a little while that I wanted to do some work on and uh, develop something been excited about it for a long time but it's just been on the back burner you know as projects do so today i've i've brought that out to uh to see jonathan and um he's already very interested this is a tt sidecar race bike with a ktm engine in it look at the engineering on this this is crazy Specialist built, but that's not the project. Let's see what else we've got lying around here. I may as well just show you. I'm going to show you. It produces a lot of power, but it's a bit different to to normal power devices. Jonathan's playing with it now, so I'm going to flip the camera around. Are you ready for this? <laughs> uh, so what this is is a a tracks. Um, uh, what they're called turbo turbo trainers for, for bikes so this is my daughter's little GT bike and the power trainer this is why I bought it I knew that it was a, a dyno essentially the same thing that Jonathan makes for power testing the cars so if any man can work this out it's Jonathan so What's happening is, we've got the, the voltmeter there. Basically the idea is when this motor, this spins, this is uh, an electric brake. So it's generating current and dumping the electricity into th this here, like a, a heat sink. So essentially when it's running, it's producing electricity. So what I want to do with this, instead of using it for directly as an exercise bike, I want to use it as an exercise bike that charges batteries because if it charges batteries we're just testing the voltage now but I've had I think it was 84 volts out of it DC and 187 volts AC which is quite a lot of power um, so imagine if we could get this working so it charges batteries and I, I think it could probably run your mobile phone, you could charge all your all your rechargeable devices just by pedaling for an hour a day. And uh, you, you, you know, you, you won't have to plug things in, you won't have to have uh, your, your, your phone chargers plugged into the mains all the time. You'll just plug them into this, pedal for an hour and it'll charge a battery bank that'll charge everything. Jonathan's <laughs> quite fascinated because it literally is what what he does so can you explain how it's working jonathan it's producing an is it producing an eddy current it's, no it's an ac current uh, it's basically like a motor inside and then they're rectifying the the motor pulses in the board which is why the lights on constantly there yeah so as soon as you stop turning it goes off yeah and it's basically um permanent magnets in the in the rotor and then coils like a motor all the way around yeah but instead of it being a motor it's a generator so as he's pedaling it there if you can see that there there's a blue light so it's generating the electricity to light up the light and if he spins that fast enough now he's gonna have to sweat no, gonna have to yeah he's gonna get on it he's gonna get on it and shit and shows right so like it doesn't fit like look at this it doesn't it doesn't fit on it at all but let's watch it here it should go pink and then red and then when it's red that's producing it's like maximum power so obviously it needs a bigger bike on it but the idea is if we can charge batteries with this then you can charge batteries with something like this as well a lot of people have got exercise bikes in the in the house and a lot of gyms have got 
this sort of stuff in it as well and a lot of these things are actually using similar technology to this. What I want to do with this is I want to show people that a gym could actually be a power station and instead of you paying to go to the gym, how's about they pay you to generate electricity because they wouldn't have to pay an electric bill because the, 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 the training machines in the gym would generate enough electricity to run the gym and surplus. But just on a home scale, you would be able to do this with your exercise bike, with your rowing machine. If you've got the right type of equipment that's got this sort of motor in it, then we could harness the power of people exercising, turn it into electric and power the world. It, it, it might not totally power your house, but like, let's just imagine your whole family is doing an hour a day and you've got four of you in the house that's four hours worth of pedaling a day that's I, I don't know how much that's going to produce but it's going to produce a lot of electricity and it's uh, it could probably run your telly for the time that you're watching it it could charge all your mobile phones it might not do big stuff like run your electric cooker and your electric heating and your you know your washing machine but it would power the the lower power stuff so um for instance if it was a, a camper van you could be completely off grid you know you could use this to, to to charge a charge a camper van if you were camping in the middle of nowhere you could literally power up your tent and get get you know get all your power for everything that you need just from this thing so i know i jump about a lot with projects doing different things but that's just the way i am you know like that's why the podcast is called the creators podcast because i like to create things and creative people tend to not want to you know you know we don't settle on, on on just one thing we're all over the place so that, that's just, that's just the way it is but um i've had this turbo trainer for about five years now because i knew what it was i bought it. it actually cost a lot of money but i knew what it was and i knew that it would work but it's just a project that's just been sat like you know for, for, for the future but seeing as i'm coming out here a lot to see jonathan he's one of the only men in the country that could like work this out because he makes dinos that use this technology so um we're going to do a little video series on this as well in there uh, so keep keep watching this one because if anybody's into exercising and if anybody's into getting let's call it free electric this is going to be interesting i'm i'm sure that we're going to prove a point to you and that's all i want to do i don't want to like if somebody wants one of these built uh, that has uh, uh, something similar jonathan could convert it for you and um, once we've proved the theory but i just want to put it out there for free i'm not trying to make money from this or anything like gyms could be powering themselves and paying you to be a member of the gym so any gym owners out there if you want to convert your gym to a power station get in touch with us because we're going to do this and we're going to make it work and I, I really want to prove this point you know you don't have to just get electricity from plugging into the wall and being dependent on the power companies you could actually do some exercise get yourself fit and healthy and get free electric how about that yeah so i'm now on the bike pedaling generating 40 volts right now so that's like equivalent of more than three car batteries so i could be charging three car batteries now i'm pedaling at this speed it's a nice steady speed feeling the burn like because there's a bit of resistance yeah, and, and i'm not i'm not very fit tell you what if i can charge batteries and get free electric through exercise and you just watch i'll get fit because that that's the inspiration that's enough inspiration for me to exercise i need a break Fucking hell. So, I'm gonna take you in the dino room and show you a bigger version of what this is. So, this is the dino for power testing the cars. What he does is he straps cars down onto this and the driving wheels sit on these rollers. And this thing in the middle is essentially the same as the thing on the bike. So as these turn, driven by the car, this creates an electrical brake, which then measures, measures the power of the car. So does this dump energy, Jonathan? Where does? No, this one actually uses energy because it's an energy brake rather than an AC motor. The bike's an AC motor. Right. So this, this actually uses energy. Yeah. And it transmits the torque onto that load cell, so it's directly measuring the torque. 
So that's where it measures, I don't know you see that, that's a, that's a load cell and it, it measures the pressure that, that there's pushing on there, the resistance of the wheels and that's how we can work out the power of uh, 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 the, the cars. But essentially what this does and what it takes to run this, the software and the, 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 you know, the computer systems that are, that are on it can be adapted to fit onto, onto the bike as well. So um, it, it's not too far-fetched of a, of a concept that uh, Jonathan will be able to get this thing, this, this thing working and uh, making electricity. So if you own a gym, why aren't you generating electricity? Why are you paying electricity bills? Bills are going up and up and up. And this idea could make your bills go down and down and down. And that doesn't matter whether we're talking about one exercise bike at home, one person exercising, a whole family exercising, or a whole gym exercising. Get in touch if you want any advice on this. I'm gonna keep you updated with, with what's going on. Please like and subscribe, hit the notifications if you wanna kinda of keep up with this sort of stuff. As you know, I do all sorts of different stuff, but yeah, this is certainly one to follow because if this works, it can work for you and if you can get fit and charge batteries to produ and produce electricity there you go you know thanks for watching like subscribe hit the notification bell and uh, you'll get to keep up with uh, all the things that we're doing so thanks for watching guys bye for now